So I'm uh, Colin Forster, as Zach mentioned, and I will be uh, just giving you a quick talk over uh, the pull request and feature that I added to jQuery Mobile that will be included in the 1.3 release and kind of uh, the process that I had to go through and uh, how hard it wasn't. Um, so it started out, the, the feature request was for the clear input button for text inputs. And if you've ever used jQuery Mobile before, um, if you have the input type of search, uh, and you start typing, it'll add that little clear button off to the right. Well, the, they wanted that to be added to uh, input type of text also. Um, and on a separate project not it was that we used primarily uh, jQuery Mobile in, um, it was asked that we add that feature to it, not knowing that it was a uh, feature request to jQuery Mobile. So we went ahead and added it to the other project. And then like a week later, after I had all the work done, um, somebody pointed out that this was actually a, a request for jQuery Mobile also. Um, and so we decided it was a good opportunity to uh, contribute some code and kind of give back to jQuery Mobile. Um, so I just, uh, I don't know if any of you have ever contributed or submitted a pull request or anything, but this was the first time that I had done it. Um, and so everything was new. Um, I've just had to uh, branch the repo locally and kind of merge all the changes that I made in the other project and put it into uh, the jQuery mobile code base. Um, and I can touch briefly on the code. I think everybody can see that. And it was pretty much, uh, since they already had the functionality in most of the CSS written, um, I just kind of had to basically implement these five variables. And it was uh, pretty basic. It was a nice... Uh, entry level task for me to kind of get my feet wet in jQuery mobile um, or submitting code to jQuery mobile um, and so after I had all that completed and added uh, I submitted the pull request and I'd say within like eight hours or so um, Jasper from the jQuery mobile team had already contacted me and said hey thanks a lot for the submission um, it looks great we just have a couple things we need you to uh, uh, clear up for us and then he gave me a official um, test page that we could use to kind of test all the corner cases with um, and so that helped a lot and then uh, uh, they had to kind of fine-tune some of the uh, features that they wanted this clear button as many as you can imagine a clear button having it has them um, he and Todd Parker had to talk through a couple things so it was kind of cool being in, involved in those discussions um, and so uh, after they finished that they got back to me and I was able to uh, complete the code and hand it off to them um, and to me at this point it was like 90% done when I finally handed it off to them and um, they closed the pull request. Um, and I looked before I came over here and they had actually uh, made some changes to it and kind of refactored it some, but none, no extra work was asked of me as a developer, so that was really cool. Uh, that you, know, you, you give them bulk, the bulk of the feature and they kind of uh, fine tune the edges and do any of the little nitpicky stuff. Um, so. Uh, overall, I'd say uh, contributing to uh, jQuery was was really easy, and it's kind of nice to look through the feature request list or issues list and see if there's anything that hey, I could probably fix that in a pretty quick quick run and kind of take care of it and help the team out. Um, so yeah, there's there's not a whole lot to it was implementing these kind of clear button related variables for input type of uh, uh, input type text and um, basically wrapping them with a div and adding the clear button. And all that code was kind of already there, it just had to be modified uh, to include the input type of text instead of just search. Um, so I know that was really fast, but is there any, any questions or anything I could uh, answer? What's that? Can we see the demo? Oh, yeah. I can, uh... <coughs> um, so, and this was an opt-in attribute, so you can see that by default it does include it, but as soon as you um, specify that you want the clear button on there, it uh, shows up there on the right, and then it's just... Similar to what you would already expect from the uh, input type of search right there, uh, but instead of an opt-out like it is on search, it's opt-in. So. Cool. Anything else?
Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. Um, when I submitted my pull request, uh, they have like a, a pretty verbose page on GitHub about um, these are the things we'd like you to have. And when you clone the repo, um, they already have their QUnit, QUnit suite set up and so they just asked for a couple unit tests to make sure it was initializing correctly. And then also that you had like a rudimentary uh, HTML page that included the feature, just kind of like this one, but mine wasn't nearly this verbose. It was just like, hey, look, I added it to the page and it works. So. Cool. Anything else? I kind of wanted Colin to come in uh, and show you how easy it was to contribute to an open source project because it's a great way to sort of get your name out there. And uh, um, I don't know, it's kind of a source of pride to get your name on the contributors list for a for a big open source project. So um, if anyone else in the future has any uh, pull requests that they'd like to demonstrate at these meetups, or maybe you have one in the past that, um, obviously this is the first one, so we haven't had any others yet. But if you wanted to talk about a pull request that you've had for an open source project on GitHub or um, any other uh, code repository, um, we can certainly do that. Get in touch with me. So. Thanks, Colin.